What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo from Pitchfork Academy here, and welcome back for another episode of Free From Fab, where I review the free for a short time assets off of Fab. Every two weeks, Fab offers three different asset packs free of charge, and whether you're a budding indie game developer or a 3D artist, or just someone who wants to add to their library of assets, these are most definitely worth checking out. In this video, I'll give you a brief rundown of what's included in this Fortnite's free asset packs, as well as share a few of my own thoughts on their utility and their quality. But just before we get started, guys, if you like what we do here at Pitchfork Academy, the number one way to support the channel is by picking up our new game, Skyblocker, which is available now on Steam for just 10 bucks. It's a fun 3D arcade style puzzle game where you stack blocks as high as you can while battling the elements and gravity to try and earn your place on the global online leaderboards. But without further ado, let's take a look at these assets. Alrighty guys, now as you can see here, these asset packs are free until June the 3rd at 9.59 EST. And this fortnight we have the Little Dragon's Tiger by Melburse Animations, the Sci-Fi Bio Laboratory by Project Zimmer, and the Downtown Alley by Emran Arts. So let's jump in and have a look at the Little Dragons by Melburse Animations. Little Dragon's Tiger is by Melburse Animations, and the description says it comes with 150 high quality animations, four different styles suitable for many types of games, realistic, toon, simple box, and poly art, with five different colors for each style, and eggs included in their hatching animations. It says here they're scaled to the epic skeleton and rigged, but just FYI, I could not find any kind of IK rig or control rig for these skeletal meshes. It's also worth noting that there's no character blueprints or anything like that in here. It is mostly just these animations. But nonetheless, I do think these animations seem to be of pretty high quality. And if you need this kind of character in your game, I think these would do very, very nicely. As it says in the description, there's these four different versions of the skeletal meshes, realistic, poly art, toon, and simple poly. But obviously even the realistic meshes are quite stylized and I do think they look quite nice. And these animations look great as well. There is locomotion, flying and swimming, as well as some dodge and death animations and a whole bunch of attack and receiving damage animations as well as jumping and a few more besides. All in all, I think this is a great little asset pack, especially if any of these different art styles fit the style of your game. And maybe one of these little guys would make a great little sidekick character or something like that. Next up, we have the Sci-Fi Bio Laboratory by Project Zimmer. It's described as a game-ready, high-quality modular asset of Sci-Fi Bio Laboratory. Create atmospheric sci-fi levels or sci-fi base with modular indoor architecture, interior assets, and various plants. The main features listed are 120 unique sci-fi static meshes, optimized for games, example map ready for use with both static or lumen lighting, modular building pieces for fast sci-fi level design and level art, with high quality textures, mainly 4K, materials are set up for easy customization and active support from the creators. I do think the demo map is a very good looking environment with excellent use of materials and some good attention to detail. I do like the very sleek look of the sci-fi elements. And while they do boast that this asset pack is game ready, I must warn you that I was only getting about 30 frames per second in the pie, with that dropping to around 20 to 22 in some of these rooms. I'm running an RTX 3070, so I would expect a few more frames out of this environment in the pie. And I expect that if you wanted to use these assets in your project or this kind of environment with these assets, there would be some optimization to be done. For example, I noticed that the writing on the walls here are actually static meshes with masked materials on them. They're basically a flat plane with this masked material on there 
and as you can see here um, some of them are not even lined up on the walls properly so it doesn't look too great i would probably want to factor some of these text elements into the actual wall materials themselves to make it a little bit more performant or just use some decals but that being said i do think these assets look quite nice the only blueprints here are these cable and tube spline blueprints but some of these assets are actually skeletal meshes such as these trolleys and doors and these kind of tube compartments all in all while there's not a great deal going on here i do think what's included is quite nice and if you wanted some kind of sci-fi environment in your game then this would work quite well it's quite realistic with a quite realistic use of materials and textures but like i said there would probably be some optimization to be done to make these assets game ready still quite nice and i do recommend grabbing these assets while they're free and lastly we have the downtown alley by Emran arts it's described as a combination of more than 30 modular pieces to create different building variations and more than a hundred props to fill your levels with it features high quality game ready assets pbr materials rgb packed textures and LOD and collision ready meshes with textures ranging from 1K up to 4K. I do think this is a very cool, very nice looking little environment. Again, with excellent use of textures and materials, giving these assets a very gritty and realistic look. The asset pack actually comes with three different demo levels, including this nighttime one, as well as a sunny daytime lighting environment and one with this cloudy overcast lighting environment, which I think looks very cool indeed. I had a run through here with many, and while I was getting a relatively impressive 40 frames per second in the Pi, I did notice a few visual glitches here and there. But I also tried converting all of these static meshes to Nanite, and it did seem to remove a lot of the visual glitches, but it did produce a few artifacts of its own which if you wanted to go down that route, you would just need to work out a couple of these kinks. But with all of this switched to Nanite, I was still getting about 37, 38 frames per second. Obviously, it depends on your project, whether you're going to use the Nanite pipeline, but I thought it was a neat little experiment that only took me a few seconds. All in all, I think this is a great looking little environment, and we have been eating well with regards to these free environments on the free for a short time on Fab. So once again, I would recommend grabbing this asset pack while it's free. And that's going to be just about it for this episode of Free From Fab. If this video has been of any use or value to you whatsoever, please hit like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.